we're going to do the clock next. Again, this clock has had a quartz movement put on. In order to do that, you actually have to remove the faces, and we re-rivet the faces back on. And in the process, we've uh, uh, cleaned off the uh, faces back to bare metal, repainted them with flat, cry flat Krylon black, and essentially re reassembled most of the clock. So now we're ready to go ahead and uh, put the face on it. So the first thing we've got to do is pull the hands off. In this case, we've already had the hands off once, so the second hand comes off easy. If you're having trouble getting the hands off, here's a technique Brian will show you. And what you do is you carefully use uh, the screw. Um, you carefully use a pair of scissors to make a um, a tool. Don't use a screwdriver. And then I'll zoom in here so you can kind of see. You put the scissors underneath the clock hands. Sort of losing the focus a bit. And then you just kind of lift up and pop it off. Okay. And he'll do the other one. This is the bad angle. And it pops off. The thinner the pair of scissors you can get, actually, the better it works. All right, so now the face is all set. Brian's and he's made sure that there's no dust or imperfections in the face. And now he's going to do the same thing with the decal. He's going to remove it from the carrier film, reposition the backing to uh, form a handle, and then go and apply it to the face and put the hands back on. Again, this is a big face, so you want to you know, be careful when removing the carrier film so that you don't stretch or distort the decal. In this case we've saved a piece of backing from another uh, another gauge or you can just cut what you've got and if you notice he's going to put it so that all of the alignment holes for the rivets etc are all visible and now what he's going to do is lay it in place, get it all aligned in the right way And these are a little trickier because you have a lot of things that have to be just so in order to get the alignment right. And again, if you don't have uh, uh, luck the first time putting it down, you can just peel it back up and put it back down again. Looks like he was successful, so he's going to remove the uh, uh, backing that was functioning as the handle, smooth from the kind of the center out, making sure you're not using your fingernail to rub it down, so you don't want to burnish the finish. And we're ready to go put the clock hands back on. So the hour hand is going to go on first. And when you reassemble a clock, you always reassemble it at the 12 o'clock position so that the hands are in the proper kind of alignment relative to each other. Once you've assembled it at the 12 o'clock position, then you can later on use the set stem to position it to whatever time you wish. But if you just kind of put the hands anywhere willy-nilly, you'll find that actually 2 o'clock won't quite always point to the 2 o'clock position, but if you line everything up to the 12 o'clock position, you know that the hands are kind of in the right alignment with respect to each other. Second hand doesn't really matter, you can kind of put it wherever you feel comfortable. Alright. And with the clocks, you don't want to jam the second hand on too tight. Uh, it just slides in there smoothly and uh, if you jiggle the gauge at all, you'll find that it won't move around, then you know you have it on tight enough. Alright, so there you have it. There's another face done.